so many people that I loved behind. So many that I can hardly remember them all. But there are two. Just two that I can never forget. I thought I was done with them. But they're not done with me.
Some days I envy the dead. Sheed, come in. Over. Vanessa! You there? God damn it. Hey, Pete. Michelle. What are you doing here? Your shift isn't for another hour. Couldn't sleep. Having those nightmares again. You holding up okay? I'll worry about you. You're not the easiest to read. I honestly don't know. This stuff you're dealing with, it's not gonna go away overnight. Just please tell me if, you know, if it gets as bad as it did. I just need to keep busy. Oak! Oak! Walk! Get down here, Michonne's taking your ship. Two minutes! I still haven't heard from Rashid or Vanessa. It's not like those guys to be in a contact for this long. We trade every time I come through, same spot. Everything's just gone. It just doesn't make sense. Their boat is always anchored right on the dock. Vanessa, rush. You'll find them. Hope you're right. Maybe we can pass by again on our way back. Listen. You hear it? You hear it, right? Sounds like a woman's voice. Vanessa, that you? I think I hear something, yeah. Hard to make out, though. Hey. Michonne? Ah, again with the short wave? I'm not just giving up. This bay was full of boats just a year ago. They went somewhere. If they left, it was probably for good reason. Then I want to know why. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? You heard it that time, right? She said help. I don't know, Pete. Didn't sound like Vanessa. But it's someone. She might know what happened here. No, damn it! We're losing the signal. Look. If we don't start caring about the people that are out there, we're no better than the damn walkers. All we'll find out there is trouble, Pete. I mean it. What's the point in just surviving? We gotta do better than that. Can't save them all. And what if I felt that way back when I met you? You should understand why I'm doing this. None of the others do. Not Birdo, not Sadiq. Especially not fucking Oak. But you, you know there are people worth saving. Take over for me, okay? I'm gonna turn the boat around.
Where are you? Anything? I heard her. Barely. I knew it! Oh, this is a bad idea, Pete. You want to find more people. You're forgetting what people are like. What is she Shit! What the f- Oh, bloody hell! Who's that? Can't see a damn thing! Everyone okay? Berto! Sadiq! You guys better get up here! What do we hit? Hell if I know! I can't see a damn thing! Berto, hold the wheel steady. Take them those sails, now! Sadiq, get down! Are you all right? Thanks for the save. Jesus! Oh, get the jib under control! Damn shortwave. You just had to take us in close, right into a fucking rock. Hey, I've been sailing these waters for years. There aren't any rocks here. Well, then what the hell was that? Something else. You said it yourself. Something's going on around here. This place isn't safe anymore, Pete. Your friends are gone, and whatever scared them off is going to find us next. I told you this was a bad idea. You're just being paranoid. It's not paranoia if you're right. We're stuck out here, nowhere to go. We shouldn't have been- You all need to calm down. We don't know anything yet. She's right. Panicking about it won't make us any less stuck. That girl on the shortwave. What if she's part of it? Guys, pull it together. Oak, Sadiq, get those sails tied down. Once we've checked for damage, we can haul off. Ease our way out. Go on. Michonne, what exactly did she say? She sounded young and scared. I doubt she's a threat. Michonne, take these. See if you can figure out what we got stuck on. Just see if we're close to anything. I mean, I need to know what our options are. We just need to get ourselves moving again, for all our sakes. Shown. We could use a hand here. Maybe we gotta bleed the wind out of this sail. I stand by what I said. Pete isn't cautious enough. Look, he's just an optimist. You call it what you like, but we shouldn't be trying to find people. We should be staying the hell away from them. Look where we are. You think this is an accident? Damn wind. You're saying this is a trap. People do anything to survive these days. And to get their hands on a boat like this? <laughs> oh, you think you've got it all figured out, don't you? <laughs> Thanks. But we can think of it. Hey, Pete. Figured out what we're stuck on. Damn. At least it's not Rashid's boat. Hey, Michelle. Hope no one's still on that boat. I don't want to die like that. Sorry. I just seen a lot of bad shit go down. I just... I don't want to see this fall apart, you know? I've seen better places than this get torn to shreds. You're not the only one. I shouldn't let him see me slacking off like this.
You see anything out there? Looks like an old fairy. Could be worth checking out. You know, extra parts, maybe some food. Maybe. <clears throat> Find anything? Saw a fairy. Maroon near the shore. A fairy? Didn't see a fairy last time I was here. Tiller lever's shot. Snapped in two. The what? Tiller lever. Connects the wheel to the... Look, I don't know shit about boats. Just tell me what you need. Might have what we need to fix this damn thing. It's the best option we got. What about your friends? You think they could be out there? Hopefully we find some sign of them. Rashid knew the area better than anybody. He'd know where to find the parts we need. Let's round up the crew. Michonne and I will scout the ferry, see what we can find. All right, so we're just gonna sit around waiting for you. You wish. You've got work to do. You didn't answer my question, though. Oh, Christ, here we go again. Guys, you three, catch the boat, pull her out of here, and lay anchor near the shoreline. Got it. Don't go anywhere. Stay near the boat and keep her safe. to a rescue mission. Forget his friends, right? Best get the parts and get back here. Pete! I can't make that promise. If someone's in trouble, I'm not gonna just leave. We can't lose anyone else. Come on, let's get going. You ready? Sure is quiet out here, huh? Not a sound. I don't know. Something's not right. <laughs> Ever the optimist. You know, something's really been bothering me, and I have to ask. What? Do you think this looks dumb? Oh, what? I don't know. Oak's been giving me shit about it. Says I look like a pirate. What do you think? Be honest. Oh, fuck Oak. What does he know? <laughs> I knew you were all right. I think it ties the look together. <sighs> you had to get you to loosen up sooner or later. You're always so serious. It's gotta be exhausting. I'm sure you have your reasons. Just Not much to laugh about these days. <laughs> Not that it ever stopped you. Being grim about it, does that make it all okay? You know, when we first brought you on board, never thought you'd decide to stick around. You didn't talk to anybody, I just assumed you'd take off the minute you got your strength back. Well, I keep expecting to wake up and find this dinghy gone, and you with it. But here you are. I haven't got sick of me yet. What can I say? You're not terrible company. <laughs> I'm flattered. When we met, you were... I mean, I saw what you were about to do. You haven't had it easy out there. I know you mostly keep it to yourself. I don't want to make you talk about it. Not unless you want to. Why'd you stop me? You pulled the gun out of my hand. If you hadn't shown up, I figured I owed you. You know, before this, I was just on my own, like you were. Convinced myself I liked it that way. 
But after a while, I just... I guess I should have kept my mouth shut, huh? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that could have been a lot worse, you know. Yeah. I know. Might be someone who can tell us where everyone went. There's no sign of anyone. Just those fucking crows. Something might have scared them off. I hope you're right. Maybe they found someplace better. Well, unless we can find another boat. Looks like we're stuck here. Looks abandoned. Doesn't mean it is, though. We'll figure something out. Glad you're feeling so optimistic. Looks like there's two ways in. The ladder or the window. All right. Let's hope this thing holds. Come on. Don't fall. Thanks. Seems like this place was someone's home for a while. Do you think your friends came through here? It's hard to be sure. We should look around. Maybe we'll find something down there. We'll have to go through the cafe to get to the stairs. You're just looking for Mr. Honeybars. Always. Locked. If one of us can get our hand through here, 
Maybe we can unlock it. Blade's too thin. It'll just break. Nothing but a hunk of old metal. No. Nice. I don't see anything. Doesn't mean there's nothing there, though. No. The question is, which one of us wants to reach in there to open it? One of us has to do it, right? I mean, I'm sure we'd hear something if anything was on the other side. I'll do it. Well, here goes nothing. Be careful. Need some help, Pete. Ready when you are. God. These aren't your friends. No, no. They don't look like walkers. Wonder what happened to them. Whoever did this made sure they wouldn't come back. Their wrists are zip-tied. They couldn't fight back. These people hadn't turned. They were executed. Jesus. Holy shit. Don't leave us here! We want to come with you! I'm staying here. I'll, I'll be back soon. their kids. Vanessa and Rashid were here. If they left this behind... Michonne, you okay? You've got that look. Same look you had when... Haven't seen it in a while. Does it seem like I'm okay? No. Sorry. They wouldn't have left this on purpose. But I gotta hope they're still alive. That they made it off this thing.
we're gonna find anything in this boat, it'll be in here. Jesus. Someone strung him up and left him to be eaten. saw up there, the execution of those people, what was done to that poor man. Who the fuck could have done that? It wasn't war. It wasn't even self-defense. No one else did this to them. They did it to each other. I've seen it before. This world changes the best of us. Sometimes for the worst. Not like this. Hold up. We don't know what's in there. What do you see? There's a duffel bag. Looks like it's in good shape. Any sign of people? Looks quiet, but keep your guard up. My guard's always up. Thanks. Someone scavenged everything else but left this? Makes no sense. I know, but damn. We could really use this stuff. Of medicine. Where'd all this stuff come from? Plenty of ammunition. Oh my god. Mary Lily's peaches and beans. God, I used to have these three times a day breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Drove my mom crazy. Cigarettes. Don't show those to Berto. We finally just got him to quit. We should see what else we can find. Wonder if it's still any good. when you're gonna find another one of these. You think candy bars are just gonna magically pour out of there? Hey, never hurts to try. Years. Who said I was going to share? Money's still here. No use to anyone now. Locked.
Whoever's in there, come on out. Shit. Back up. Back up! Greg! What's going on? Easy. Who the hell are you people? Who are you? Look, kid, just tell me. Now! I'm Michonne, and that's Pete. We're just passing through. Yeah, sure you are. That bag belongs to us. So step aside, all right? Don't be stupid. I don't want to do this, but we need that stuff. So just back up. Take it. It's yours. Put. Randall! Shit! Looks like you caught our thieves. Nice job. You. Man, you gotta be kidding me. And you've got help this time. Interesting. Thought you were a solo act. What the hell is going on? Don't play dumb. This is a misunderstanding. Damn. I know Sam here didn't do all this. Get them all onto the boat. And be careful. These new ones aren't fucking around. We'll take him to Norma. They try anything, shoot him. Let's see. Two canteens, a lighter, pocket knife, machete. Any bites, rashes, coughing? No, they're clean. You know we're gonna need those weapons back. Don't worry. You'll get them back. Once we've cleared all this Bullshit. up. Bullshit. Watch it, girl. You're in deep enough already. You know, if I had my way, I'd just dump you over the side. See how well you swim with your hands tied behind your back. Guy might talk to me. Norma's Maybe I can get him to listen to reason. You're lucky she's calling he doesn't shots. seem like the most reasonable Listen, I know guy. we can work something huh? out. We can just start talking to you. Might be worth the shot. Don't say any- Let me do the talking. Hey, cut the chatter. You speak when spoken to, understand? All right. You. We'll start with you. What's your name? It's okay. You can tell me. You first. Where did my manners go? I'm Randall. Michonne. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about what you did. We didn't take anything from you. Shut your mouth. I'm talking to your cohort. Bet we're not the only ones you've stolen from. I didn't steal shit from you. 
then you've got nothing to worry about. Let's see here. Nice machete. You handled those walkers back there. How are you against something that can actually fight back? It's plenty sharp. Take good care of this blade. I can tell. I'm damn good. I'll bet. Weapon like this, you gotta be comfortable getting in close. Getting messy. You know, every person we find living, they got some dead with them. Who was it for you, I wonder? Mother? Father? A couple sisters, maybe? Not kids. You? <laughs> oh, man. I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. So you... You got nothing left to lose. No wonder you're all stoic and shit. But hell, we all lose people. Can't let it get you down. You're damn right I've got nothing left to lose. Means I'm not afraid of anything. Everyone's afraid of something. Anyone who says otherwise is just uh, lying to themselves. Look at that. Here we are. Monroe. You got a good look last time you were here. Too busy stealing from us to appreciate our little community. Bet you never gave them a second thought. Folks you fucked over. It wasn't us. What was that? We haven't been here before. Save it for Norma. My sister. She's the one in charge here. She'll be just thrilled to see you. Zachary, thank God. You hurt? I'm fine, Jonas. I'm fine. There, found your missing medicine. Thanks. I'll uh get this back to the sick bay. Hey, your job's not done yet. Come on. Randall, what's all this? I hoped I'd never see you again, Samantha. Norma, I'm... Not a word. Not from you. Found them on the ferry, along with this. <laughs> that one there. She's the one to watch out for. That true? You dangerous? You don't believe me? I've never been wrong about something like this. I think she's more than capable of speaking for herself, Randall. I want to... I'm dangerous when I need to be. Aren't we all? Though dangerous isn't so bad anymore. You survive if you're dangerous. I can respect that. Randall, escort these ladies to the storeroom. Find somewhere comfortable for the other two. What? That's my brother! Come on. You got this under control? Sam! Greg, you'll be okay. Get moving. Where are they taking Pete? 
Don't you worry about him. What about Greg? Looks a bit empty, doesn't it? Like something's missing. Luckily, my sister's good at getting answers. She'll find out what you did with the rest of it. And if she doesn't, the two of us are gonna have ourselves a talk. I'm not gonna let you do this. Keep an eye on her. She's got a knack for starting trouble. Anything goes down and I'm blaming you. And you don't want that. Trust me. Nothing's gonna happen down here. See that it doesn't. I'd say make yourself comfortable, but that's, uh, probably not gonna happen. Ugh, we've gotta get out of here. They're gonna hurt Greg. These people... You don't know what they're capable of. Your brother is gonna be fine. You don't know that. Should have never involved my brother in this, and, and now you, um... Who knows what they're gonna do to him? Is Norma right? Did you steal those supplies? Well, I didn't steal the duffel bag, if that's what you're asking. This is my fault. I'm so sorry, I... I was just trying to protect my family, that, that's all. I never thought they'd go back to the ferry. I didn't know. It's not gonna be okay. What the hell is going on here? I just wanted to use the radio to, to reach people. I never expected that Randall would show up there. Not after... <sighs> Ties are too tight. You see anything we can cut him with? Anything with a sharp edge. Mob Jack. It's the name of the ferry. It must have come from there. <sighs> never be able to slip my hand out. Hey, Sam. Are you looking? We gotta find something. This used to be full? How should I know? Yeah. They took the life vest, too. Someone really loves their cigs. Same brand that was in the duffel. This is why there was nothing left on that ferry. It's all here. get out of this. I need you to tell me the truth. You saw those bodies back at the ferry? That was another group. We traded with them sometimes. Randall killed them all. Everyone. Even the kids. 
him with his whole crew. And he just murdered them. They were trying to run away. How do you know? Did you see it happen? We were on a supply run. We heard gunshots and screams. We tried to look for survivors, but... And they took what was left. That's why this stuff is here. That's what they do. They think they own everything on the water. Whatever they find, they take. And if you put up a fight... Oh, well, you know what happens. They just... It's nothing to them. I saw what Randall did. Now do you get it? If there's anyone out there that you care about, don't tell these people a thing. Someone's coming back. The pipe's loose. Just a, a little more and I can get free. We have to get out of here. Think about what you're doing. We need a plan. Ugh, this is my plan. This is our chance. Whoever comes through that door, we jump them. We can do this together. It's now or never. What's it gonna be? Worth a shot. Let's do it. Quiet down here. Here I was, ready for a fight. Nice work. Kept it together. I'm a- Come on. Norma wants a word. So, Miss Schoen. I overheard your friend call you that. That's a great name. Norma? <laughs> I always wanted to be a Veronica or Gwendolyn when I was a girl, but I've made my peace with it, I suppose. You're lucky, though. You got a name people remember. Michonne. <laughs> Damn, that's good. A nice, strong name. Norma's not so bad. Eh, who knows? It's a new world. Maybe the name will make a comeback. I'm sorry about all this, but I just want to talk, that's all. Then you mind taking these off? Sure, once I get to know you better. I know you're angry, but try to consider things from my perspective. Everything points to you stealing from me, from my people. That puts you and I on opposite sides of the fence. If that's not how you see it, enlighten me. Help me understand. If all goes well, I'd be happy to remove them for you. You want to know me? <sighs> Let's talk. That's what I like to hear. You're going to help me get to the bottom of things. You do that, and you get to go home. Go on. Consider it a peace offering. You and... There you go. So tell me, you and Samantha, how long you all been together? I haven't seen you before, but then you might have been lying low. You seem brighter than Samantha. I just met Sam today. Really? And what brought you to that ferry? 
Seems awfully strange you just stumble on it out there in the middle of the water. It's just a little difficult to wrap my head around. You all ending up there together at the exact same time. Pete and I picked up a signal on the shortwave. It was coming from the ferry. Hey, Zachary. Yeah. Get Janie to take a crew on down to the mob jack. See if anyone else picked up on this signal. Bring anyone they find back here. They need help, we'll take care of them. So how about your group? Are there others? I need to know who's with you. Can't act on incomplete information. There's nobody else. Hmm. That's interesting. Maybe I haven't been clear. The only reason you're still sitting here is because I've decided to let you tell me your side of things. I suggest you stop fucking around. Otherwise, this is gonna stop being so pleasant. Don't make You don't want to threaten me. No, I don't. But you put me in a difficult position. Look, I don't mean to lose my temper with you. From your side, I'm sure this looks bad. I get that. But there's more to this than you realize. Since you just met, there's something you should know about Samantha. That girl is a natural-born liar. She's good. I'll bet she laid it on thick for you. Said it was all her fault. She's sorry, and won't you please help her escape big, bad Norma? Am I getting warm? Wouldn't be the first time she fed that line to somebody. Yeah. She said something like that. See? <laughs> I knew she would. She's lied to us before. Stolen from us before. You can see why I might be just a tad frustrated. I mean, I let her go. No consequences. And now she's stealing from me again. How am I supposed to feel about that? She's just a kid. Too young to know any better. <laughs> yeah, looks like she fooled you too. There's a fine line between being generous and being taken advantage of. Everyone deserves a second chance, I believe that but never a third. Most people will take advantage if you let them. Did you give a second chance to Rashid and Vanessa? Who? Rashid and Vanessa. Never heard of them, but if they showed up here, sure, they'd get their chances. I'm trying to protect these people. That's what we do here. I bring folks in, see that they're fed, clothed, looked after. What about what you take from them? The salvage? We need the same things anybody does. We pool our resources, we survive. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. No more beating around the bush. Where's the rest of it? What? You say you weren't with those kids, but Randall caught you with them. You had this, but there's still much more missing. So, where is the rest of it? Bullets and ammunition, handguns and a couple of rifles. All missing. That's all there was. Well, it didn't just disappear, did it? Bring in the kid. What, what, what do you do it? Here's how this is gonna work. I know he's not gonna talk to me. His sisters probably fill his head with all kinds of stories. So you'll be asking the questions. Let go of me! I guess being a pain in the ass runs in the family. Greg, is it? We're just gonna do a little fact checking, Greg. See if your story squares up. There's no way I'm talking to you after what your brother did. Ugh. Shit, Randall! Fuck you! You want another one? Randall! 
Come on now. Michonne, mind asking Greg what I asked you? Go on now. Ask him. How long have we been together? A, uh, long time. We're old family friends. Hmm. That's not how Michonne told it. She said you just met. Someone's full of shit. He's just scared. Leave him be. The kid's a liar. Oh! Hey! Okay, let's try again. Michonne? The one about your people? You remember, don't you? Ask him yourself. How many of you are there? There are. There's, uh, th there's more of us. Lots more. Well armed, too. Well, that's disappointing. She said it was just you four. Randall, oh, go! Please, I'll tell you whatever you want! Aim that at me. I dare you. How about I just shoot him? Randall, I think you made your point. Ugh. Get a towel, Zachary. Leave him alone, okay? He's just a kid. Throw him a pity party when we're done. Get the fucking towel. He lying again? Try to be kind. Try to extend my goddamn hospitality. Greg's lying. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, for fuck's sake, Randall! Norma, please, okay, this isn't working. You're not gonna get what you want this what way. What would you fucking suggest? A pat on the head and a lollipop? He's got a point, Randall. You took it too far. Like you always do. People need a firm hand. You're not gonna get him in line by being soft. Now, being smart isn't the same as being soft, Randall. We're not gonna get what we need your way. Zachary and I will figure this out. You go below and get the other fella. I appreciate you telling the truth, Michonne. You. How you've lived so long in this world, I haven't a clue. Zachary, a word in private. You okay? What do you think? <laughs> Are they done with us? Or is it gonna get worse? My guess is it's gonna get worse. Well, maybe they'd stop if you gave them what they want. I, I would if I had it! No matter how many times I say it, no one believes me. I can't believe I pissed myself. Seriously. My little brothers can see me now. I've never done that before. Never. I'm not like that. Afraid. Fuck! I'm not gonna tell anyone what happened here. Appreciate it. But pretty sure the smell's gonna give it away. I knew about the rotters. I mean, I fought them before, killed them. It's bad. But people are worse, aren't they? <laughs> I didn't know it was this bad. They know what they're doing. They just don't care. Not everyone is like these people. I've met others. Folks who don't kill unless they have to. I wish they were here. I don't know. The thing is, is I, I say that about people, but people, family, they're the only reason to live. What if you don't even have that? I left them behind. My daughters. I didn't know. You lie to yourself to live, so you keep going. But when you stop... A 
I showed. You look rough, kid. I'm not a kid. Yeah, you are. What'd they do to him? Ask him some questions. Hey, Sam? I haven't seen her. <sighs> Shit. How are we playing this? Yeah, Michonne. How are we playing this? I'm all ears. Any day now. Real Just tell the truth, Pete. Yeah, Pete. Just unburden your heart. Take care of this. Come on. Zachary? I just have a few questions. I know just where to put you. What the hell? Jonas! Haven't you got a patient that needs you? No, you can't just barge Jonas. in here! See, not everyone here lives in squalor. Jonas and Zachary had the nicest room on the ship. The good doctor deserves it. Gosh, he just works so hard. What is it you do, Zachary? Huh? Besides fuck Jonas. Okay, fine, Red, That's let's right. just... You do nothing. You cower and you whine because you don't have the balls to do things that need doing around here. This is how you treat your own people? Only when they need it. Look, whatever you're gonna do, Randall... No, I'm not gonna do shit. Your fucking uselessness stops now. Time to earn your keep. Here. Go on. Get them talking. Where, where are the rest of the supplies? The bags with the ammo! Hey, shouldn't keep your finger on the trigger. Don't tell me how to hold a fucking gun! I don't know, Zachary. Maybe she does know better than you. Please, no one has to get hurt here. Shut up! Just because Randall's an asshole doesn't mean you have to be. Hey, you gonna take that, Zachary? I'm not like him. Prove it. I don't think she's taking you very seriously. Come on! I need a location. Now! That's it. Careful. Don't get too close to her now. Please. We all need to calm down. Okay, okay. If I knew where your ammo was, I would tell you. Um, I... Hey! Who's in charge here? You or her? Huh? You want answers? Talk to me! Stop! Stop! Don't move! Sam! Greg, don't! It's okay. You think this is okay? Get it together, Zachary! Stop! What are you waiting for? Tell Randall to leave. Then we can talk all you want, okay? Last chance, Zachary! Fucking do something! Stop! <laughs> oh, damn it, Zachary! Now who's taking things too what? far? I did Outside, I, I did. now! <sighs> No, no, Greg. Sam. I can't. Oh, we have to get out of these. We have to help him. Sam. Oh, God. Craig. I can't reach him. We need to lay him down. I'll find something to stop the bleeding. It's gonna be okay, Greg. I don't think it is. Don't say that. Come on, Greg. Come on, don't do this. Please, don't do this. Think of, think of Alex. You're his hero. What will he do without you? Not if... not if you're a good hero. No, you are. 
You are, Greg. Please hang on. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> He's going to turn, Sam. He's gonna... He's gonna become one of them. Everyone turns. Always. You need to be ready. I'm gonna need your help. I can't. I can't, I just need another second, please. I can't. I can't let you go yet. Craig, Craig, I love you. Get it off me. I just, I just need more time. <laughs> Hold him down. What happened to him? You fucking shot him! I didn't mean to! Do you think that matters? You killed him! It was an accident. I swear, okay? I, I swear! Please! Lower! Please lower the gun. I'll explain everything! Sam, put the gun down. Why? He's a murderer! Calm down, Sam. Please! You're not leaving this room, you son of a bitch! Screwed up. Randall should be the one laying there. Not your brother. I can't undo what I did, but maybe I can help. I owe you. Both of you. Please. You want to help? Start by getting us the fuck out of here. Not going to be easy, but I'll do what I can. Hey, is, is he still breathing? <laughs> Jonas! I thought you'd have more time. What, what, what do you mean? Oh, no. Jonas, listen. I, I, I said I'd help them escape. Then we need to disappear, too. Yeah. Okay. Let's find Pete and get the hell off this boat. Thanks, Michonne, for stopping me. As much as I wanted to, 
for what he did. I'm glad I didn't kill Zachary. Taking someone's life, that changes you forever. Avoid that burden as long as you can. I, I'll try. He's still up there. And he's got company. Okay. We'll distract the guard, then we're out of here. Hey, Joe. Can you give me a hand with something? I couldn't get anything out of him. Zachary was useless. People just aren't talking. Yeah. Problem is, we still know nothing about him. I'll get him to talk. Don't worry. I have to worry. After last time... It won't go down like that. I swear. It can't. They see me gone, you haven't got a chance of getting out of here. Hey, Randall! You want to tell me how this happened? Zachary! He was guarding the door! Right. Samantha put you up to this? Where is she? Come on. Out with it. I'm only here for Pete. If you find Sam, you can have her. I'm not letting any of you go. Norma, forget about the girl. We can figure this out between us. I'd like that, Pete. But your friend here seems to have other ideas. Randall, sound the horn. Sure thing. Drop the machete. I said drop it while you still have it. <laughs> Figure it out. Michonne? I'll see if I can find us a ride out of here. Fight our way out.
There's a boat we can use. We'll take them out if we have to. Then we're us. No, we are not killing people. I'll give myself up. Wait. Buys you time to escape and no one dies. And I'll find a way back to you. I can reason with these people. That'll never work. Pete, they'll kill you. They won't. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, go down to zero. I'm doing what's best for my crew. That includes you. When you get your opening, run. We gotta stop him now. Show no. What are you doing? I could have talked them down. I'm not taking any chances. Get ready. Shit, you're not taking our boat, too. You should look behind you. <laughs> you think I'd fall for that shit? didn't have to happen this way. You gotta learn to keep your machete on your back instead of hack your way out, because that doesn't always work. You're crazy if you think Norman listened to you. I think she would have done anything to avoid that. All I'm saying is next time, let me do what I do first. And if that doesn't work, your machete can do the talk. There's no way we can get back to our boat. We can hide out at my house until it's clear. My dad can help you. It's not far. We'll get there before morning. Your dad? Why didn't you mention him before? I don't want normal looking for him. I'll tell you more on the way.
Michonne? Oh, God. distance between us and Norma. Hope the walkers go for them instead. We can lose them in the woods. How are we gonna do that? Yeah, it's not like we're just gonna walk through those things. We don't bump into any of them. We'll be fine. Just be glad it did. gonna have to wait. We'll circle back when things cool off. Better not take long. Don't like the thought of Oak left unsupervised. There's a shortcut to my house, but you're not gonna like it. It's not as bad as it looks. I know the way up. This will work. How are we supposed to climb this? Carefully. 
If we survive this, I won't complain about going up the rigging anymore. Craig and I climbed it one by one. But I don't think we have time for that. Follow my lead. Some fucking shortcut. up ahead. We're not far. I found Norma's place a while back, when it was just a couple of boats anchored to a pier. They had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. And, and now Greg is dead. Don't beat yourself up, Sam. We all make mistakes. Move on. Why'd she let you go? She took pity on me. I told her my family was starving, and that was enough. It's like you used up all the pity she's got. This last time, I thought we could just hide this stuff on the ferry. But Greg, he, 
you didn't think it was safe. I, I should have listened. God, I'm, I'm dizzy. Thanks. A clear path. You're not looking so good. I feel even worse. Talking helps. I, I don't want to black out on you. Stay with us, Sam. We're gonna get you home. Your family, what are they like? Dad, Dad was a lawyer. So I never won any arguments with him. My brothers, James and, and Alex, they look up to Greg so much. They're gonna be destroyed. I should leave the house. Walkers are trouble. People are worse. I didn't listen. It wasn't your fault what happened to Greg. Oh, it's not what he's gonna think. We'll help him understand, Sam. Sometimes you can't make good out of a bad situation. I, I don't know. How am I supposed to tell my dad about Greg? It's gonna ruin him. I don't know if I can. Let me handle it. I'll tell him. Thanks, Michonne. <sighs> Made it. Sam. Sam. Sam, wake up. Almost there, Sam. Almost home. <sighs> Don't fucking move! Not one more step! Whoa, 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 whoa! We're not gonna hurt you. We just wanna help this girl. Sam! Is she dead? Did you kill her? Answer me or I'll shoot! It wasn't me. We're being hunted by this other group. Bullshit! Don't see anyone but you. <laughs> Maybe you shot her. Or you. Then you'll come in here and kill everyone. I can't take that risk. So just put Sam down and leave. The longer you talk, the more blood she loses. God damn it. Ugh, fine. Get her in here. Uh... <sighs> 
Your sister's hurt. What's wrong with her? She's bleeding. Sam! I need you to find help, okay? Uh, okay. <gasps> Dad! Dad! What's your name? I it, it's James. Okay, James. You got a first aid kit? C kind of. Get it. Fast. Whatever we're gonna do, we gotta do it fast. Got it! What are you doing with that? Sam? Sam, I got you. I'm here. I need to clean the wound. Is the bullet still in there? Didn't punch through. We gotta, we gotta get it out, right? There's too much blood. You're gonna have to use this. I'll hold her down. There it is. Hand me that. Not gonna lie, this is gonna really fucking hurt. Hold her down, you two. We got her. Stop! Oh my God. No, 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 no. Get away from her. John! What are you doing to my daughter? Saving her life. With that? Not now. Help or get out. James, let me. Is she going to make it? I can't lose her. I can't. The bleeding stopped. That's what matters. Tell me. What happened? You appear out of nowhere with my daughter nearly bleeding to death? I saved Sam. Carried her through a walker-infested forest back to you. When Sam wakes up, we'll see what really happened. Look at me. I don't know who the hell you are, but... Dad! Dad? Where is Greg? I'm so sorry. What? What do you mean? Greg didn't come back with them. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> it's okay, boys. It's okay. I'm here. <laughs>
Colette? Melody? You girls in here? Michonne, please leave a message after the show. You tried to call me? Hey, they're right. How did I miss them? God damn it. Listen, I need your help. 
With what? I... I can't help you. We don't... We don't have a lot of time. Have you seen two little girls? My daughters, they lived here with their dad. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know them. You do? El... Uh, Elodie and... Uh, Colette? Yes. I haven't seen them, though. Look, we really can't be here, okay? They'll find us! When was the last time you saw them? This morning. Before they ordered the evacuation. No. <laughs> Talking to you were talking to yourself. You okay? Just thinking about someone I once knew. It's okay. I do that too. John, he... He went to talk to the kids, make sure they're all right. While I watched over you. Sorry about this. John isn't big on people he doesn't know. How are the kids holding up? I don't know. Can't be good. Their brother's dead, sister's shot. I mean, fuck, right? So, yeah, this is where I apologize for almost shooting you. Emphasis on almost. I was just worried. Don't worry about it. Happens more often than I like to admit. If it makes you feel any better, I'm not a great shot. That patch of dirt, his mom's buried there. Ear so back, she just. <sighs> she was sick. Not in the head. Something with her heart. She couldn't handle it, I guess. I never understood that. I tried the same thing, but, but a friend stopped me. I've thought about it. How could you not? But like I said, bad shot. If it wasn't for Sam, Sam. Hey, don't move, okay? Don't move. Sam, no. Mission, we have to help him. You're too weak. Move me up. Just stay down, Sam. I need to help him. Go back to sleep, Sam. But... You need rest. Sam. I know John can make a strong first impression, but he's what's keeping this entire family from being buried out there. 
You gotta fight like hell for what you care about, right? Something that makes all this shit worth it. Yeah, fight until the day you die. You'd be crazy to stay here, John. This woman normally Enough. will- There's no decision to be made on this. I need a word with you. In private. Do you have children? A son? A daughter? I do. Two little girls. Know the day my wife died. Her heart gave out. Sam found her. She... She passed in her sleep. We buried her so the boys wouldn't have to see her like that. The snow... It covered her grave. Erased it. Like she'd never been there at all. I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you. I've tried to focus on our kids, but the past, it always seems to find you. Ever since Sophia, I've tried to keep our family from harm, but we're falling apart, piece by piece. And now that Sam's hurt, and Greg's, I could really use your help. Your friend Pete told me all about Norma, about what happened. If she finds us, we wouldn't stand a chance. But you seem like someone who can hold their own. Sam said you could help me. If you do that, I'll give you guys a hand. Anything. Whatever you need. Children shouldn't have to see this. Greg never turned into one of these things. Did he? Are those... Whatever they are. He's at peace now. <gasps> Thank God. <sighs> I... I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it together. But what if you just found out your daughters were dead? And you weren't there. You were miles away, safe and sound. How would you feel? Your kids need you to stay strong. You, you're right. I'm all they have. Peekaboo. <clears throat> Got it trapped like a rat now. Find her!
Where are you? Dead yet. Uh, uh, you? yourself a golden goose if you think I'm shitting any eggs forget it I'm asking the questions here say now won't this be fun that's up to you <clears throat> how'd you find the house I probably never would have. Except you left a trail of walker parts right to the front gate. Like some fucked up fairy tale. Randall? Randall, are you getting this? You, uh, want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit. She sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. You gonna answer? Talk to her, Michelle. Don't make the same mistake again. Where the hell are you? Yeah! Yeah. I got a few words for her. Hello, Norma. Michelle. Where's my brother? Go on. Tell her. Don't spare any of the gory details. I've got him here. Then you better keep him there with no harm done. I want the truth on this. Hear me? Did you hurt him? If you so 
much as breathed on my brother, I'll find you and make what happened on the ferry look like a goddamn picnic! That's a fucking guarantee! He's fine. Haven't touched him. Good girl. Okay, 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 okay. Let's wind this down a bit. If you've had his walkie-talkie the whole time, then you already know. We heard the shots. We know where you are. But if you let Randall go, maybe we can all walk away. Randall is the only family I have, and I'm not leaving him behind. One way or the other. You want him? He's yours. But then you can leave us the fuck alone. Be reasonable, Michonne. That's all I ask. We'll be there soon. You know, this alone time, you and me together, it's been real nice. But that all ends when my sister gets here. I'm gonna take that wrench and break your skull. Then Sam's and yours. And last but not least, those kitties too. I saw their little heads in the window. Kids, you know, their skulls don't break so much as kind of melt like a rotted pumpkin. I'm not letting you hurt anyone. Well, not until Norma gets here and I skip bare ass free out the front gate. And that will happen. Michonne. Well, hey now. Don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> what? Yeah. Got a big hole there now. Michelle, is that true? Please tell me he's fucking with us. Randall murdered your dad, Sam. No! all night. Michonne's just been fumbling around like a bear cub fucking a football. Randall has more value if he's alive. Gives us something to bargain with when Norma gets Listen here. Listen to me. That won't work. They only bargain with bullets. All she wants is her brother back. That's it. We're out of the equation. You need to kill him or I will. Sam, wait! No matter what I say, you're just gonna do whatever you want anyway. I know you've already made up your mind. Well, <laughs> I ain't had the bell of the bar. Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. But we both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. You like killing. Then you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Just tell old Randall the truth. I got thick skin. You won't hurt my feelings. You're wrong, Randall. Am I? Well, maybe, maybe you think you can rise above all that. But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit every day until you die. Then you know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. There's still a chance we can make things better. Tell me you still believe that lie, Michonne.
This is the world your kids are dying in, Michelle. <gasps> or dying in. Or are in that fucking purgatory. Shut up. Don't talk about that. Either way, they're suffering. And mommy isn't. We all have our demons, honey. Some are on the inside. Some are sitting right in front of us, wondering what kind of a mother brings a child into this mess of the world. Guess that means the dance is over. Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. I'm not looking forward to that. I just needed some space. Uh, you're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Hey, City! Did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? Oh, no. Birdo, no. <laughs> it was a mutiny! <laughs> Rojo, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> Damn. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit, isn't it? How long does it take? What, to warm to them? I'd say it takes uh, one year, three weeks, and six days. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. You did the right thing. And it got my brother killed. The right thing can kiss my ass. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, the ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well. I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, 
None of us can remember the rules. So, it'll be the most, uh, unique game of Go Fish you've ever played. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Well, hey there, Michonne. Sam, I knew you couldn't stay away. Don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> Sam, stop! Easy, all right? Jesus! Little help you! Hey, let go of me! Thank you. Why did you stop me? What are you... Why are you protecting him? You should be better than that, Sam. Don't be like him. Or like you? Just stating the obvious here. <laughs> What's funny here is you think me and my sister are the bad ones. But you're the one who burned down our home. Forced our people onto shore to be easy pickings for the walkers. Families, kids, never did shit to you. Didn't stop to think about all the lives you were screwing up. That was an accident. Tell that to the parents who lost their kids. He's only trying to piss you off. You're done talking. You're the one who should be dead. Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean he ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. Pick you don't know. Michelle. Wait. You hear that? Answer me. Now. Michonne? You don't want to keep me waiting. What do you want? Oh, you're gonna want to hear this. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand, but your luck has changed. Michonne and Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't... Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe me anything, but please... We have to get them back. I understand. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Shit. <laughs> so... What do you think's gonna happen next? <laughs>
<laughs> what? There's something on my face. The bruises aren't so bad, right? I'm pretty sure she'll notice the fingers. Shut up. Maybe it won't matter. It could be worse, you know? At least he's not dead. We'll get our friends back. Alive. That's if Norma keeps her word. The minute you hand him over, she's gonna take that bag off his head. What then? <laughs> you all have no idea what you're in for. Ugh. He's right. Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Sure, you kept him alive, but we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. So let's just go. Stop. It's not gonna be that easy, Paige. If we run, they'll chase us. But maybe we get away. If we stay here, there's no chance we get out of this alive. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, where are you going? I'll watch him. Sam! <sighs> Sam, stop! <sighs> You're gonna hurt yourself! ready to walk away, but I'm not just going to leave him like this. <laughs> we couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. <laughs> That's all I can give him. I understand. You should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking- My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. Sorry, but I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I'm not just going to abandon it. So what happens when Norma comes? We fight with everything we have. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here.
I, I was just wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Just. And? How does it feel? It's, it's heavy. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? You have to be smart. That's how you survive. My dad was the smartest guy I knew. That didn't save him. The guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said, the way he was laughing about dad. You want to hurt him, don't you? careful. Feelings like that can get you in trouble. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. Your sister's tough. I wouldn't worry about her too much. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. She didn't always come to this. Janie, Rich, what's the hold up? Prisoners aren't cooperating. What do you want to do? Yeah, we don't have time for this. Get them moving. Is that music? I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Was this your dad's idea? Yeah. My dad makes sure I'm always safe, so nothing can happen to me, ever. Especially not those things. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. Getting scared is normal. Really? 
Happens to everyone sometimes. But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? I'm so sorry, Alex. Something terrible happened. A bad man came and hurt your dad. What? He shot him. No! I don't believe you! I want to see him. Please. <laughs> Did my dad be become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? He did, didn't he? No, your dad didn't become one of them. <laughs> Still your dad. It's not fair. Alex, you need to be strong, okay? I can't. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. <laughs> Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. She's... she's not thinking. Give her some space, okay? She's grieving. I know. And I wish I could give her that, but Norma's not gonna wait for her to get over her dad's death. This shitstorm's coming whether we're ready for it or not. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway, same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. But that's not why you're leaving. I mean, it's part of it. Call it self-preservation, but I've gotten pretty used to knowing when it's time to cut and run. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. You're the only one here who can convince Sam to leave. Talk to her. <sighs> I tried. Try again. She needs to be ready to run. And so do the kids. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but... I don't know if I can do the same for them. Here. No more see right through this. Here, Pete. Thanks. This is a mess. Can't believe how fucking stupid I was. I get so focused on finding people. I wasn't putting the crew first. I didn't insist on looking. 
I didn't turn us around and lead us here. It's not your fault, Pete. You didn't know this would happen. Oak knew. I should have fucking listened. You think after all this time, after everything we've had to do to survive, people would want to help each other? But no. They're just guarding what's theirs and taking out whoever gets in their way. I don't know why I even bother trying to help anymore. It doesn't... It doesn't seem worth it. Maybe I was just fooling myself. I wanted to think there were people worth helping. And now we all have to pay the price for it. This isn't you, Pete. You help people. You helped me. Don't give up. I won't. We just... We have to get my crew back. Hopefully my boat is still in one piece. Shit. What the hell are we gonna do? If Norma's coming for a fight, are we really prepared for that? These kids, they aren't up for this. Sounds like Paige wants to run. Not the worst idea. I'm not leaving without my guys, but once we get them back... Yeah, I'm in. guest in this house. Where are your manners? You found the bag? Yeah, here. Thanks. Are the others ready? As ready as we're gonna get. I'm looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. Alex asked about his father. So, I told him what happened. Oh, shit. I, uh, I should check on him then. You'll find him in his fortress. I'll meet you outside. Sam, you okay? Greg and Dad, I just, I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. Just say what he meant to you. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a moment. Hey, you okay? Michonne. Just thinking about my kids. I keep seeing them. Hang in there. We'll be back out on the water soon. You know I envy them. They've managed to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. it. Feels like before. Just a little bit. 
It may seem nice, but it won't keep them alive. They don't know how to survive over there. Hey, it's gonna be tough leaving this place. I just hope I can convince Sam to go with me. Miss Go? She's here! I thought we had more time. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. <sighs> What's gonna happen? He gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Right? Just get upstairs. Stay out of sight and you'll be safe. Norma's not after you. Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. I hope it doesn't come to that. You better not miss. I hope I don't. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. It's quiet out there. You ready for this? Anything goes wrong out there. I got your back. We just have to be careful not to provoke her. I don't want this to turn into a fight. Hopefully Norma feels that way too. It's just me. What the hell is going on here? I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the air a little. What's your game? No game. I just want to talk. Where's Pete's crew? They're not far. Don't worry. Why should we believe you? I may be a lot of things, but I'm no liar. Your crew is safe, I promise you. Listen. Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like everything I built. You and I, we've each taken from the other. All I want now is my brother back. And he better be okay like you said. That's all. And I'll leave you be. You buying any of this? That's it? Just like that and you walk away. Been enough killing these last few days. I'd like to just get past it if we can. A show of good faith, then. Any minute now. Safe and sound, just like I said. Now, I want to see my brother. Why the hell are we standing here? We're all homeless because of her. Daddy, stop. They should be dead. That is not what we are here for. Now be quiet. My brother, now. I have given you what you wanted. I just want to see him. He's right here. Randall, you okay? 
Hit this fucking thing up now! Just hang on. I got gotcha. you. See? We can work together. Release that one. It's okay. We just need this to be over. Let him go, Gabby. Glad you're safe, man. I made good on my end. Now it's your turn. Give me Randall. Oak! Hey, put the gun down. I could shoot him and still have one more to spare. So you're gonna do what I've asked. Now! I came here willing to talk. But if you're gonna insist on being difficult... Don't hurt him, all right? <clears throat> here, take him. Randall isn't worth all this shit. Gabby, listen to After me. everything they've done, you're still giving them more chances. We deserve retribution. Don't do this! Stop! No! No! <laughs> Murdo! Everyone put your guns uh, down! I knew we couldn't trust them! Don't! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. You better get your people under control. Gabby! Fuck! <laughs> I'll give you that one, all right? We're even. Just let me see my brother. Take that bag off him. I want to see his face. What did you do to him? Answer me! Do you want your brother back or not? Just hand him over. Here we go.
burn the whole fucking house down! <laughs>
have to get you out of here. It's not safe. stay, but I can't. Why? It's complicated. My job. It... Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Leave, Mama? Stay here. With us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please, give us a minute. What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michelle! No, no, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. We can't stay here! It's too late. Your mother already made up her mind. Girls, listen to me. I have to go. I just have to go. Michelle! I'm so 
sorry. Sadiq's gonna take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. We can drop you off in Oceanside or maybe one of the other communities up north. It's good people. Thanks. And thank you for everything. I don't know if we would have made it out of there without you. You found my brothers. You took care of Norma. We owe you a lot. Promise me you'll learn from this. Remember what happened here. I will. <sighs> It'll be harder out there. With Alberto, I lean on you a bit more. It's not going to be the same without him. Are you going to be okay, Pete? Yeah. Don't worry about me. Yeah, I guess that's a bit hypocritical of me, huh? I wanted to ask. When we got separated, I heard you calling for your daughters. What happened in there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out and... I saw my daughters. I got to talk to them. That, that's not possible, right? For them to be there. I know. Maybe you'd better start thinking about, you know, what if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, I was able to walk away. I couldn't keep living in that moment with them anymore. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family. Before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. Before you know it, they'll be gone. You're right. It's time to go back. Come on. 